Let's read Octopus Shocktopus today by Peter Bentley and Stephen Lenton. Ooh, look at that. What can you see? Houses. Houses of different colors in a lighthouse. Octopus Shocktopus. Look who's coming down. The octopus. One day we found an octopus had come to live on top of us. Our neighbor, Mrs. Antrobus, said, I don't like that octopus. An octopus just looks all wrong. An octopus does not belong. Where's Mrs. Antrobus? Where? Oh, over here. She went and called the fire brigade. They couldn't shift it, so it stayed. At first it sat there looking bored. It dozed a bit and sometimes snored. But when our friends came around that day, we asked it, Would you like to play? We started off by playing catch, and then we had our football match. Imagine that, all eight of us against a giant octopus. Can you count the eight kids? One, two, three, four, four five, five, six, seven, eight. You did it. Later on, we had more fun. We jumped its eight legs one by one. It gave us all a jolly ride. It also made a perfect slide. Who's sliding in the picture? Can you see a kid sliding down the picture? There are three kids sliding. One, two, three. Actually, there's four. There's another one there. And one about to slide. And soon it was quite plain to see how very useful it could be to have our friend on top of us, our special giant octopus. On mornings that were bright and fine, it made a handy washing line. It dug the garden, built a shed, and helped to paint the whole fence red. My kite got tangled in our tree. Our octopus just pulled it free. It rescued Gracie's teddy too. The time she flushed it down the loo. From that time on, it smelled of poo. Can you point to me where the washing line is? Where is the washing line? Can you show me? Where's the washing line with the clothes? Yeah, over there. Yeah, and then where's the where's the shed? Do you see the shed? It's over here. Where where is the octopus helping um, paint the fence red? Yeah. Oh, the, the octopus is pink. But where where is it helping paint the fence red? Where's the painting? Where's the fence being painted red? Yeah, here. The octopus is painting over here and over here. It swept the leaves. Yeah, sweeping the leaves. It cleared the snow. Look, it's clearing the snow using shovel. It pushed the car to make it go. And people came from miles to see our octotastic Christmas tree. We all adored the octopus who'd come to live on top of us. And even Mrs. Antrobus grew fonder of our octopus, especially when it saved her hat and rescued pumpkin pie her cat. Everybody said to us, we wish we had an octopus, except the village baker Sid, who said I'd rather have a squid. 
One day we found no octopus was living right on top of us. Where had it gone? We all felt glum. We missed our massive eight-legged chum. But in the night we heard a bump. It woke us up and made us jump. Yikes, we said. What, what can it be? We quickly ran outside to see something quite spectacular, miraculous, tentacular. Our own gigantic octopus was living back on top of us. But that's not where this story ends. Our o What's that? More octopus. More octopuses, yeah. Our octopus had fetched its friends. Can you count all, all the octopuses? This is squid there. <laughs> yeah, that's a squid there. I think that's for the uh, ba the baker. You can see the baker. Because the baker wanted a squid, remember? There's a squid there. Yeah. One, two, two three. Four, five, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What's that? Eleven. Twelve. Very good. You did it. You counted to twelve. Oh, that's another one. How much is that then? Twelve. Then. Thirteen. Very good. Look at that. There's baby ones. There's baby ones during the daytime. They must have been hiding at night. It's, it's in the beach. Yeah, they're at the beach. Very good. All right, do you want to read some more books? Yeah. Cool.